Microsoft has released Pi 4 Reasoning, which is a 14 billion parameter reasoning model, which achieves strong performance on complex reasoning tasks. This model is trained via supervised fine tuning of Phi 4 on carefully curated set of teachable prompts selected for the right level of complexity and diversity and reasoning demonstrations generated using O3 Mini. So Phi 4 reasoning generates detailed reasoning chains that effectively leverage inference time compute. They also develop Phi 4 reasoning plus a variant enhanced through a short phase of outcome based reinforcement learning that offers higher performance by generating longer reasoning traces. So in this video, we'll try out both Phi 4 reasoning and Phi 4 reasoning plus in collab notebooks to see how they perform on certain prompts. So what they say is that across a wide range of reasoning tasks, both models perform significantly uh, than larger open weight models such as DeepSeq R1 Distill Llama 70 billion model and approach the performance levels of full DeepSeq R1 model. So their evaluation span benchmark in math and scientific reasoning, coding, algorithmic, al algorithmic problem solving, planning and spatial understanding. So this is the release uh, page of Phi4 Reasoning, the model page on Hugging Face. So if you look at the architecture, base model is same as previously released Phi4, 14 billion parameters, dense decoder only transformer model. Input is text. Uh, context length is 32K tokens. And here they talk about how many GPUs was required for training this model, which is 32H180G. And training time was 2.5 days. Training data is 16 billion tokens, approximately 8.3 billion unique tokens. Output is generated text in response to the input. Model responses have two sections, a reasoning chain of thought block followed by a summarization block. Okay. And the cutoff date for this is March 2025. So this model is primarily uh, trained to accelerate research on language models. And it has an MIT license. That means you can use it for commercial purposes. Uh, so the training data is a mixture of QA, chat format data in math, science and coding. Okay. And what else is present over here? What they are saying is that uh, this is a state of art open weight reasoning model fine tuned for using supervised fine tuning on a data set of chain of thought traces and reinforcement learning. Okay. Um, so my uh, Microsoft 5.4 plus is an enhanced version of 5.4 reasoning. Okay. So 5.4 reasoning plus is an enhanced version. Let us try out both these models. So I've created this collab notebook. I've used an A100 instance over here. So this is a paid instance. So when you load the model, it takes close to 28 GB of memory. Okay. It's a 14.5 billion parameters model, close to 14.7 million parameters model. So it takes close to 28 GB of GPU memory. So you can instantiate the model as simple as this. Um, from transformers import auto tokenizer, auto model for causal LM. Tokenizer is this. Uh, from pre-trained Microsoft 5.4 reasoning. And this is the model. Auto model for causal LM from pre-trained Microsoft 5.4 reasoning. Okay. Uh, then you can create messages like this and apply tokenizer chat template, basically tokenizer.apply chat template. So the first thing which I'm going to try out is their own question, which was like, what is the derivative of X square? So the system prompt is like this. You are phi, a language model trained by Microsoft to help users. Your role as an assistant involves exploring questions through systematic thinking process before providing the final and accurate solutions. This results in a comprehensive cycle of analyzing, summarizing, exploration, uh, reassessment, reflection, backtracking, and iteration to develop well-considered thinking process. Please structure your response thought and solution using the specified format. Okay. Thought section details your reasoning process and uh, analyzing all the stuff. Uh, then what they say is that, uh, okay. Thought process is that and then finally you have a summary which is the solution section okay where the answer is there so this is how you uh, apply tokenizer.apply uh, chat template to these messages and you can generate your outputs okay so when i do this first is it does all these you know the derivative of x square is 2x i'll provide explanation using the power rule the derivative of x square is 2 into x into 2 minus 1 so x to the power of 2 minus 1 which is equal to 2x but it will check and then finally it gives an answer so the thing is this part the thinking part is over here right uh, this is your solution part. Okay, the derivative of x square is x. The result comes from proper rule of differentiation. So, so that is the answer. So it gives properly the answer over here. This was their example. So I wanted to try out another thing. So I said like, okay, a boy is involved in an accident. He was taken to the hospital. The surgeon said, I would not operate on this boy. Anything strange here. Uh, so this is a classic puzzle. Okay, where the bias is there, and surgeon could be female. But nowhere I'm mentioning father. Nothing over here. Surgeon could be father as well. Okay, because I just said a boy is involved in an accident. This is just to see how thinking models perform. Most models, you know, get confused over here. So it says, I recall a riddle. Uh, a man is involved in an accident. He is taken to hospital and the doctor said I would not operate on him because he is my son. Because most of these models have been trained so much on this data. This is kind of overtraining which happens. Okay. Uh, so it finally says that, you know, the well-known riddle is a man is in an accident and he is taken to the doctor says I would not operate on him because he is my son. The answer is doctor is his mother. Uh, but you no, know, it kind of gives all kinds of justification over here. The strange thing is, uh, it is strange because the surgeon is the boy. Okay, so none of thing, those things apply over here. It is very simple. 
it can directly say that the surgeon is a relative and would not operate on the boy but this is just to show that you know llms have been so much over trained on these kind of data now let's go to a mathematical problem this is a time dilation calculation which models like gemini um, you know flash or 2.5 preview give the correct answer uh, the correct answer is 1.66 so the question is that a spaceship travel towards a massive planet with a velocity 0.8 c determine time dilation experienced by the passengers on the spaceship when they are at a distance of 5000 km from the surface of the planet assuming a certain mass and a certain radius so it's able to do this calculation properly over here it says that there are two things special relativistic time dilation and there is gravitational time dilation and it does all these calculations properly and then kind of gives the correct answer over here saying that you know for every one second of proper time on the spaceship the approximately 1.67 seconds pass for a distant observer so it gives the proper thing answer over here conclusion it gives properly when the spaceship is 5000 km with a planet the time dilation experienced by the passengers is dominated by this thing special relativity effect for every one second of proper time on spaceship approximately 1.67 seconds pass for the distant observer so it has passed this particular mathematical problem we can also see 54 reasoning over here only thing to change over here is that uh, you have to specify this model 54 reasoning plus okay for both the tokenizer and model and for the first question derivative of 2 it gives proper answer over here which is 2x okay uh, for the second question uh, it says that maybe it's wordplay i would not operate perhaps it is a riddle again i think it is uh, alternatively it thinks it's a riddle okay it's not able to give a proper answer over here for the space dilation it is again doing all these calculations and it says that 1.667 properly it gives an answer now let's go to the next problem of you know the physical world understanding so how do you stack a cardboard board a bottle five eggs and one nail on top of each other individually the answer is that this is not physically possible to do due to you know it will not be stable right so it says this is a puzzle how can you stack a bottle leg and nail again pick up from you know some training data or something it recalls this puzzle right uh, then it says that i should ask clarifying questions could you please clarify what do you mean by stacking them individually so finally it gives me a good answer over here saying that you know i'll produce the final answer could you please clarify what do you mean by stack on top of each other individually are you asking for a method to physically arrange a cardboard a bottle five eggs and one nail into a single stable vertical column or this is a puzzle or riddle where the correct order of technique is the challenge this is a good response because some llms kind of mess up over here and then they try to produce an answer uh, they always try to produce an answer saying that it could be done like this uh, so this is interesting in the thinking process it says that you know this is not stable it cannot be done okay uh, you know it says carefully it gives the solution over here place the bottle in center of the board carefully place the eggs on the top of the bottle and finally then but then but it says that however this stacking is not able due to fragility in its thinking process so it has done a good job over here now let's go to microsoft 5 plus for the same question um, so let's see what happens so it is not physically possible either it is not uh, the trick it produces a lot of this thing uh, this kind of you know does not give you a proper answer it is still producing some thinking thoughts over here and it, it doesn't generate a full answer over here okay it goes alternatively it may be the answer maybe the solution is this 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 i think 54 reasoning was better than 54 reasoning plus for this particular question okay so this is another problem a puzzle a king has thousand sweet bottles of wine and one contains a very bitter poison the poison takes effect of effect exactly 24 hours after consumption the king needs to you know find the poison bottle in 24 hours for an event he has 10 prisoners what is the easiest way to identify the poison bottle okay so here it's a solution whereby you know you have uh, you label each bottle with a unique 10 digit binary number then assign each prisoner a digit so this is you know have prisoner one taste from every bottle whose binary representation has uh, one in first digit prisoner two from every bottle whose binary representation has a one in the second digit and so on so it gives the correct solution over here use the prisoners as binary digit for each bottle assign a 10 digit binary code where each digit corresponds to a prisoner then have prisoner i drink a bottle from the j uh, uh, bottle j if i digit in the binary representation of j is one after 24 hours the pattern of which prisoners are poisoned will reveal the binary number of the poison bottle so it you know it says i need to check if any prisoners might be sacrificed so this is reasoning plus now let's go to reasoning over here uh, the same question i have asked over here it also provides the correct answer over here the same thing it provides saying that after 24 hours observe which prisoner show the effects of the poison uh, the binary pattern if you decode the pattern it gives you the number label of the bottle basically right so it is doing it properly over here as well the next question which i ask is that a group of four people need to cross a bridge at night the bridge is very old and rickety they have one torch and because it's night time the torch is necessary to cross the bridge each person walks at different speeds a takes one minute to cross b takes two minutes c takes five and d takes 10 minutes what is the fastest time they can all get across the bridge solution is all four of them go together the slowest person takes 10 minutes so that's why the solution is 10 minutes both models fail over this model at least fails here and says that it takes 17 minutes okay it tries to reason this is to, uh, you know most elements fail on this problem it says you know it kind of makes different kinds of assumptions that two people can do together go together and all those stuff and it gives 17 minutes as the answer i think reasoning uh, over here okay it is not able to generate the solution over here maybe a do cross and then b returns 10 then a it kind of keeps a lot more thinking over here it is not able to generate a solution 
I can just try one more thing. Maybe I can increase max new tokens to, you know, possibly 8096 or something. Increase the budget, uh, increase this output and see if it does it. Let me run it. It takes a good amount of time to generate the solution. So even reasoning plus gives the same answer of 17 minutes, which is kind of wrong. So let us look at what is the process of supervised fine tuning of 5.4 to create this reasoning. Uh, so 5.4 reasoning is obtained by supervised fine tuning of the 14 billion parameter 5.4 model prior to any reinforcement learning. The goal of supervised fine tuning is to distill the structured reasoning capabilities in the base model. The architecture is same, uh, 5.4 reasoning is same as 5.4 model with two key modifications. Reasoning tokens, two placeholder tokens from the base model were repurposed as think and, you know, uh, this close thing tokens to mark the beginning and end of reasoning thinking block respectively increase token length the base model originally supported a maximum token length of 16k uh, to accommodate additional reasoning tokens you know the rope uh, base frequency was this is rotatory uh, position embeddings base frequency was doubled and the model was trained for a maximum length of 32k tokens so that's the change which they have done okay uh, then they talk about synthetically generated examples of long chain of thought reasoning traces over a diverse set of prompts which is described in this paper their data set, supervised fine tuning data set comprises over 1.4 million prompt reasoning pairs totaling uh, 8.3 billion unique tokens of reasoning domains such as math, coding and alignment data for safety. So that is about 5.4 uh, reasoning. So 5.4 reasoning after the supervised fine tuning stage already performs strongly across diverse benchmarks. That is what they are saying. 5.4 reasoning plus has a bit of reinforcement learning on top of 5.4 reasoning. So following the supervised fine tuning stage described previously, they apply outcome based reinforcement learning to further enhance capabilities of 5.4 reasoning model following a similar recipe. So they also have made use of group relative policy optimization or the GPRO algorithm for reinforcement learning. So you can check out the further details of, uh, you know, the implementation and other things in this technical paper. So this was a video where I tried Microsoft 5.4 reasoning and 5.4 reasoning plus on some prompts. I find this model to be really good for its size. Uh, it's good to have smaller reasoning models. You can go and check out uh, these two models. You can download them. You can try out in Collab Notebook. I'll be sharing both the Collab Notebooks. So you can try it out on your tasks, your prompts to see how it performs. Both the models have MIT license. So you can make use for uh, these models for commercial purposes as well. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.